The first thing we're going to talk about today is tracing because I know it's one of those issues that people are always get hung up on. So I'm going to swing you around so you can see my computer and we're going to work through tracing together. I mean, excuse me, this design that I am going to use is one of the designs from uh, the Hungry JPEGs bundle and I will put the link up so don't even worry about it. But basically what it is is um, a PNG. If you do not have Designer Edition and you need to open an SVG, this is a great way to do it. You can use a PNG instead and trace. So I've already downloaded it to my computer. Here is the design. I went simply went to File, Open, and here I am at 1 o'clock. I mean, it may be 10 a.m. on the East Coast, but it's always 1 o'clock, right? Okay. Now, if you go over to the cut settings, you will see that there are no cut lines. The only cut line is this one around the design. That's because it's a PNG. That's not going to work if you were going to make this into a stencil or cut it on vinyl or something like that. So you need to trace. So go to the trace tool up along the top toolbar. It's the yellow um, with the little blue butterfly. And you're going to first select the trace area. Okay. So I select the whole area. Now if you trace and you get like this where the whole thing is not yellow um, it's like a glitch in the software and you can either make your trace area larger you can make your design smaller you can kind of move the trace window around fortunately we're good here okay so what you want to do is get if you trace like this you're going to end up with those double cut lines that is not what we want okay we want to fill in the whole design so it's completely yellow so First thing I always do is turn off the high pass filter. You can see that immediately fills in everything. Then I pull the scale down to four. This will just give you smoother cut lines, okay? So down in the bottom of the trace window, move your scale to four. And if you need to, if your design is like not completely filled in still, you can adjust the threshold, all right? And then I cl simply click trace. Now, you can sort of see that there are the red cut lines. You no longer need the actual design, so you can delete that. Now, how do I separate wine and the wine glass? Because those were a different color um, than the it's and o'clock. So all you're going to do is simply right click and release the compound path. Now, you need to be careful with this because the wine glass is now separated from the reflection. So what I do is then go back and make, so go back and select the individual elements of the design and then make them compound paths. So now you have the wine glass, it's all one piece again. Same thing with wine. See how these little counters are not included in the larger piece of the design? Okay, so you want to select them all. Okay, so you're making a compound path with these. Now, what I do then, again, because th these are all separated, is I select every piece that is going to be cut in the same color. So wine and the glass, and I group them, all right? And then I just fill them in with the color that I'm going to cut them on. So if I'm going to cut them on red, I just use the fill color tool, which is the little paint bucket up the top, and I click red. And then if I'm going to do it's and o'clock all in black, then I fill black. Now, I'm going to leave this here so you can see what happens. Watch this K when I fill in. Okay, you can see that the counters are, I don't have the like center part of the K there, and that is because I did not go back yet and make it a compound path. So you want to make sure you select the large part of the design and those counters and make it a compound path, all right? And then you have all of it in the colors that you need. Oops, the little eye there, okay. And then just make sure it's all grouped. So group that, oops, this is still not, okay. So you're gonna group o'clock and it's, and you're gonna group the wine and the little dot and the wine glass, all right? So now at this point, they are all separated. Whoops, you need to add that little apostrophe there to this group, okay? And that is basically how you can um, trace 
designs. This is super basic, but I just wanted to show you when I, you had a multicolor design, how you would deal with that. And don't forget to head on over to the blog and silhouetteschoolblog.com. Tons of tutorials. Use the search box to find exactly what you're looking for, and hopefully you will. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in.